All right, my friends, I am going to share with you uh, one of my favorite portfolios. Uh, this might be the easiest portfolio you can you can invest in with minimal uh, just fuss. Uh, it just is fantastic. I'm a huge, huge fan of this uh, from a guy named Craig Israelson. Uh, he used to be at BYU. I'm not sure where he's a professor now at. Uh, I love it. I've been a big fan of this since I first came across it in 2004, I think, after the... Uh, uh, the 2000, 2001, and 2002 calamity and uh, how the portfolio held itself real well and just going forward, it just uh, has done incredibly well. It's called the 712 Portfolio. It's called seven, the number 712portfolio.com. Uh, you really need to take some time to look at this. Um, and I emailed Craig, and I, I'm going to get him at some point as an interview on the podcast because uh, – it just has fundamentally, I don't want to say change my investment theory for sure. Uh, but relative to the, art, the uh, video I just did on the, uh, what's this guy, how you can make, get roughly, uh, investing strategy gives you a little bit less return for a lot less risk. Uh, this right here is actually my preference. All right. So what you can see, let's try to make this bigger. Uh, there we go. Sweet. All right. So what you'll see here. Old school balanced portfolios, 60% stocks, 40% bonds. All right. New age balanced portfolio. You got, oh man, one, two, uh, I can't tell, how, how many is that? 14 different categories or something like that? One, two, or 12 different cat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can do it. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 categories. I don't know why it says seven. And each half was at eight and a half, 8.33% in there, right? Is that right? 8.33 times 2, yeah, that's, 12, that's 100. All right, so I don't know why they call it 712. Uh, anyway, so watch this. Well, let's look at the 712 portfolio. Unlike a, a traditional 60-40 balance fund, the 712 balance strategy use, utilizes multiple asset classes to enhance performance and reduce risk. It re represents a suggested number of asset classes to include in your portfolio. Uh, Oh, there we go. The, tw this, the 12 represents the 12 separate mutual funds or ETFs to fully represent the seven asset classes. I get it. Okay. Seven asset classes, stocks, bonds, cash, uh, real estate, gold, uh, utilities. I'm not sure what else. But anyway, we'll dive into a little bit deeper. Our portfolio has approximately 65-35 allocations. 65% of the portfolio is invested in equity and diversifying assets. And 35% is invested in bonds and cash. Uh, the 12 can represent the core of any portfolio. A financial advisor should not be spending time designing a portfolio for every client. I agree with that 100%. Uh, if your financial advisor is saying he's or she is spending time devising a unique portfolio specific to you, there's no way he can do that for more than five or six people because things change all the time. Uh, so it is a strategic model, meaning it does not rely on tactical changes. The core a uh, 712 portfolio is a broadly diversified portfolio with equal allocations, equal allocations to all 12 funds or ETFs all of the time. There is no, I mean, we're not overweighting or anything. It's 8.5% roughly, 8.33 to 12 different ETFs. And, and, and leave it like that. Additionally, there are age-based versions. I don't like that. So I'm going to show you the performance. They got a cruise here. Look at that. 12th annual cruise. That's pretty cool. Yes. February 3rd to 10. I guess I missed that. All right, so let's go to the performance. I just, this is where the rubber hits the road. All right, let's go to 2008. All right, this guy was down. Here's the a, here's a Vanguard balance index was down 22.21, and here's a Vanguard 500 index was down 37%. Uh, passive, and this is what you want, a passive portfolio is down 25.16. So you're like, whoa, that, that didn't do as well as the Vanguard index. Yeah, but watch the returns. Uh, average annual return. Here's the passive ETF 12 portfolio, 6.87. Here's the balance index, 5.67. Here is the S&P 500, 5.51. 12-year uh, growth, 20-year growth of 10,000 bucks. 37,000, 30,000, 29,000. Remember, this is the S&P 500, the more aggressive. This is a balanced portfolio, a Wellington version. Now, I'll actually do this and I'll put up to Wellington. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. I don't know the answer for that yet. I haven't done it yet. Uh, annual expense ratio for using ETFs, 0.17. Standard deviation is lower than, uh, by far, than the S&P 500 and just a bit higher than the, uh, the balance fund as well. All right, so let's just look. 19 and uh, 2000, the balance index was down 2%. This portfolio is up 5.42. 2001, balance index was down 3. We were up uh, down 1.94. 
2002, balance index was down 9.5. We were down 0.64. In 2002, it was 9, 12, and 22%. All right, so we were not even anywhere near the Vanguard fund, uh, S&P 500, and uh, we were much well ahead of the uh, of the balance index. In 1999, S&P 500 was up 21%. We, the balance was up 13. This one was up 16.8. Let's keep going. Uh, 2005 was a pretty bad, not a bad year, but that year, S&P 500 was up 4.77. Index, the balance index was up 4.65. We were up 12.34. You want to take a gander? Why? Because it had gold. That's why it had gold. That's exactly what happened. 2011, we were down 1%. These guys were up a little bit, four on the balance and 1.97 on the S&P 500. 2015, we were down five. Balance index just basically a little bit above even, S&P 500, 1.25. And again, so we were kicking butt and taking names when the goal was kicking butt and taking names. And 2011, the goal started getting crushed, as did we, relative to the S&P 500, relative to the balance index. Look, in 2013, we were only up 9.65, where these other guys were up uh, more than double, triple that, almost quadruple that. 2014, the same thing. 2015, the same thing, because gold starting was just getting killed. And so gold saved our bacon here and then got killed here. But 2016, 17, look at that, up 10.14, smoked the index, balance index, uh, got smoked by the S&P 500. 2017, we got smoked by both. In 2018, we got smoked by both too. Uh, but they, again, it's attributed to the volatility of gold. There's lots of volatility in some of these portfolios, but they're shielded from the lack of volatility and other things. That makes sense. Now, you can also go back to the active portfolio. And I, I've just, I haven't really done any research on the active one yet. I guess we could. Uh, much higher volatility, 13.72, but you got a much bigger return over 20 years as well. Um, and so anyway, here's the, the growth, uh, 30,000 for the Vanguard fund, 30,000 for the balance fund, 37,000 for the passive. So we got more growth, less volatility by and large. I just, I, I think it's absolutely wonderful. And, uh, and the reason for that, again, is because you have so many different asset classes and you're not, you're not trying to gauge what asset class are going to outperform. You just don't know. Let's take a look what the active one is. I'm not sure what the active, what's the 712 performance? I don't know what it meant. I think what the uh 12 fund for his balance i don't see the anything on the active yeah um survival test and you can see all this stuff and i'll put the link in the show notes tons of stuff to look at um i don't see the active i don't get what the uh model performance uh let's see if they show anything about the active one here i, I can't he Craig emailed me. I said, what is the active one? He emailed, I just forgot what it was. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I forgot off the top of my head. But anyway, definitely look at the at the 712, 7, the number 712portfolio.com. I'll do some more research on this and, and put it up head to head against Wellington Fund. Because right now, as we sit here today, the Wellington has been my favorite for the last 20 years. We'll see how this guy does it. I'm a, again, but I'm just a huge fan of it for sure. Um, I think you can buy this with a, I, I can't remember how you, you just got to look at it. I'll, I'll do some more research on that, but uh, um, I'll look back at his email, what he sent to me, Craig did in terms of how you get this, uh, where you get it from, like what brokers offer this and whatnot and how you do it yourself. But, uh, but I'm a big fan. I think it's a good, the good portfolio to look at for sure. And just, I mean, he gives you all his numbers, all his information right here, all the Excel spreadsheets right here, man. It's uh, it's, it's just awesome. Uh, build your investment portfolio for five bucks a month. He's got a paperback and Kindle. I'm just a big fan. All right, uh, more to come, and we'll see you next time.